Today, we're going to read another Stephen Kellogg uh, book uh, from the Stephen Kellogg Treasury um, with Pinkerton and Friends. Uh, I like a lot of Stephen Kellogg's drawings. They're really intricate. And he writes some pretty good stories, too, sometimes. Um, let's see. What are we going to read? Ralph's Secret Weapon is one of your favorites. So let's read Ralph's Secret Weapon. 175. Here we go. Came out in 1983. After successfully completing the third grade, Ralph sent, was sent to vacation with his aunt Georgina. She greeted him with a banana spinach cream cake and the news that he would spend the summer learning to play bassoon. This cake is from a recipe that I crafted myself, said Aunt Georgina proudly. I believe in keeping busy, she added, and I hope you will study the bassoon with the same energy that I put into all of my projects. Uh, I'll, I'll try, said Ralph. Aunt Georgina's house was like a castle. Ralph wanted to explore it and play with her Great Danes, but she already planned his afternoon. It's important for you to begin practicing immediately, explained Aunt Georgina. Your teacher, the famous maestro, Prepostoroso, is coming tonight for your first lesson. Aunt Georgina left for the afternoon, and Ralph, feeling uh, the need for a snack, went to find the kitchen. As he entered, he saw a mouse nibbling his cake, to his surprise, it instantly became very sick. Hmm, I better not eat this thing, Ralph decided, and he hid it in the back of his closet. During Ralph's first bassoon lesson, the sour notes he produced brought worms dancing out of apples. He is hopeless. I see no talent whatsoever, cried the maestro. Nonsense, declared Aunt Georgina. He shows great promise as a snake charmer. There is an international snake charming competition opening at the Colosseum tonight, and Ralph and I will be there. She dismissed the maestro and called for her car. They arrived just as the snakes were slithering onto the stage and the snake charmers were tuning their instruments. What an exciting event, declared Aunt Georgina. Ralph wasn't sure he wanted to sign up. Nonsense, declared his aunt. Many of the contestants ran into difficulty, but when Ralph played, all the snakes danced to his music. Ralph's success gave Aunt Georgina another idea. Discovering that a sea serpent was causing problems for the Navy, she ran to the telephone. And this is the afternoon news. Bothersome sea serpent sought by the Navy. She promised the Admiral that her talented nephew would be able to charm the serpent. He's holding on to a grand trophy. The Admiral came at once to meet Ralph and to show him slides of the sea monster in action. Ralph was worried. He decided that he needed a secret weapon ready in case of trouble. So these are all great little pictures um, that I like looking at of the sea monster attacking people. He's got a lifeguard here and two people in a love boat um, and a dog who's hunting duck, a little boy reading a book. And they're really cool. This is why I like Stephen Kellogg books, because he makes some really great detailed pictures. Much later, aboard the Admiral's gunboat, Ralph nervously began to play. Attracted to the music, the monster rose to the surface and snatched the bassoon. You notice Ralph has his secret. 
When the music stopped, the sea serpent became angry with Ralph. The crew was frantic, and the admiral seemed confused. Do something! Save my nephew! shrieked Aunt Georgina. If we fire, we'll blast Ralph to bits, wailed the admiral. What shall we do? Um, throw, throw my secret weapon, cried Ralph. Aunt Georgina bounded across the deck and flung the bag into the monster's throat. It sank back, making strange, burbling sounds. Probably something like... And there's Ralph. You can see his arm sticking out. Suddenly, a thunderous hiccup blasted Ralph and the other victims to freedom. And let's see if we can recognize any of these. There's the duck and the dog that was hunting them. Um, let's see what else. There's the lifeguard up here. There's the guitar player. Oh, and there's the hunter that was hunting with the duck. Oh, wait, I forgot to read what was on the page. What was in that bag? cried Aunt Georgina. Uh, your cake? replied Ralph. When they finally returned home, Aunt Georgina was exhausted. Ralph was, too. He announced that he was giving up the bassoon forever, and Aunt Georgina did not object. For the rest of the summer, Aunt Georgina kept busy with her projects while Ralph went swimming, played with the Great Danes, and reread his favorite books. And the rest did up for the fourth grade. Good night. I love you.